Welcome to Exploring with D-Rob. Let's go. Good morning, welcome back. It's been a week or two. Don't worry, I've still been getting out though. Uh, post a few pics here in a minute. Show you some of the places I've been since the last video I done. Uh, anyway, up in the red today, I'm gonna head out to Hanson's Point. Got a few areas I'm wanting to get a good count of pink lady slippers. Hopefully they're in bloom by now. Starting into the third week of uh, April, so getting towards the end of the month. They should be in bloom by now. But I'll uh, also link my Hanson Point video in the description below. It'll give a little more trail detail than what I'll probably give today. But let's head out that way. Usually when I hike out to Hanson's Point, I'll usually just park at Gray's Arch uh, Trailhead. The first parking area up there is Pincham Tight. That's the first parking area on the left you come to coming out Tunnel Ridge Road. The trail off that parking area actually crosses the road right here. Heads out Pincham Tight, which is where we're heading now. This is also a portion of the shelter we trace. See the blaze and the turtle. about a quarter mile or so away from Tunnel Ridge Road. Come up on the first trail junction here. Make a left here to take you out Rush Ridge. We're gonna stay straight on Pincham Tat. Head on out towards Rough Trail. Mentioned I was wanting to get a good count on some lady sleepers. Probably head on out to Hanson's Point first. That was the first vehicle in the parking lot this morning. But since I've got on trail, I've heard several vehicles come out Tunnel Ridge Road, so probably have some company later. Go ahead and try to beat the first one out there to the point. Enjoy it for a few minutes and worry about wildflowers on the way back out. Speaking of uh, Tunnel Ridge Road, since I was up here Saturday, they've graded the road, so Tunnel Ridge Road's in pretty good shape right now. As I mentioned, on my way back out after Hanson's Point, I'm gonna get a count on some pink lady slippers. Several just off trail. Uh, just keep in mind, orchids do not transplant. If you pick an orchid, dig an orchid up, might as well consider that plant dead. So just uh, photograph these 
admire them as you go by. Just don't dig them up or pick them. Coming up on the next trail junction here. This is where Buck Trail meets Pincham Tight. See, signage for Buck Trail. Trail goes down the hill there. That'll take you across to Coomer Ridge Trail. Make a quick trip over to Coomer Ridge Campground if that's where you're camping at. Or you can make a longer loop if you're looking for some mileage there. Connects over to Coomer Ridge Trail and then Coomer Ridge Trail later on. Connects on the back end of Rough Trail. Anyway, roughly a little over a mile into the hike. Go ahead and try to make good time on out to Hanson's Point. Coming down on the next trail junction already. This is where Pincham Tight meets Rough Trail. We'll make a lift. Go downhill here, a couple hundred yards. Hit the unofficial Hanson Point Trail. Probably see this big deadfall to the right coming into view. Go we'll just past that. Start out the Hanson Point Trail. Coming through the first big campsite here. No one here. Seeing as there was nobody in either of the parking areas, I don't think there's gonna be anybody camped out here. So, <clears throat> um, I guess I should mention since this is a ridge top hike. Pretty well established in the spring now, getting a lot of warmer days. Especially on days when it's cool of the morning and then hot in the evenings. By midday, snakes are usually coming out to the ridge tops, especially around rock outcrops looking for some heat. So as you start to venture out more on these warmer days, Keep eye out for snakes. The abundance of spider webs that I walked through coming through the thicket there verifies that nobody else has been out through here this morning. Coming through the last big campsite now. For the folks who camp, this is the kind of thing you don't want to leave. Be sure to bring in plenty of water with you. Don't leave anything smoldering in a campfire. First views walking down on Hanson's Point. Looking over at Revenue's Rock. High pressure blue sky day. Very few clouds in sight. trees starting to bud out now getting a lot more color in the woods Point. 
looking out across that half moon rock and chimney top. Unfortunately, not really any sky interest over towards half moon and chimney top. Looking on past chimney top to the left over through there, you see cloud splitter. Got the 24 to 105 with me today. Got it racked out to 105 millimeters right now. Getting a shot of chimney top and cloud splitter in the background. Got a few selfies out on the point and stuff. So if any of the shots from here turned out any good, here they are. One last look from Hanson's Point. Would have liked to have been up here earlier this morning and catch some of the valley fog. Uh, hopefully one day I can catch a sunrise out here. Great sunrise location. Right now, I'm going to head back out to the big campsite and either come just off the big campsite right there or on out towards uh, Pincham Tack Gap there. See if I can get some side profile shots of Hanson's Point from over there. Let's head on up that way. Coming back by this campfire, this log still smoldering. If you're gonna camp, have a fire, be sure to carry in enough water to make sure your fire's out. I ain't got a whole lot of water with me, but. This thing till I got all the hot spots put out. You obviously enjoy these spots, people. Be sure to take care of this area. Anyway, let's head on over here. See if we can check out some views around the Pincham Tight Gap. Back up at the first big campsite coming back from Hanson's Point. Pretty obvious trailheads over towards Pincham Tight Gap. Just gonna follow this over. It's uh, yeah, less than 100 yards probably. Go out here a little overlook. Look back across at Hanson's Point. Pretty obstructed views out through here, but every once in a while you'll catch a gap. Looking back, kind of to the north and west, look across at the veranda. Mm, not too sketchy getting down through here. I'm about halfway down into Pincham Tack Gap. To get any lower, I feel like you'd probably have to have some rope. But from where I am standing, you get a really nice side profile of Hanson's Point. Gives you a little different perspective of half moon. and chimney top as well. Before I leave, I'm gonna have to investigate that right there and see if that's an opening through there. That's That could be an arch. 
first though get the camera out set up and try to get a few shots i at some point one last look from pinch them tight over towards hansen's point sun high in the sky now gonna head back out of here get on over the rough trail see if we can't start counting some lady slippers back out on rough trail shortly up the hill here we will start counting lady slippers as you saw earlier i did bring the cannon with me today so here in a few minutes i'm gonna put the 100 millimeter macro on try to do some wildflower photography not a cloud in the sky so not sure how well lighting is going to be for uh, photographing wildflowers not a lot of shade unless i cast my own on some of them probably but we'll see what we come away with here's the first couple lady slippers we're coming to one with the bloom one with that and here's one full bloom got some nice color on it not keeping count of these like I am the pink lady slippers but these dwarf crested irises are one of the prettiest flowers in the woods right now well in this one little patch I managed to count 175 different plants I'm not saying I didn't miss any because it is possible, but 175 in one small area is a pretty nice find. One last look at some pink lady slippers. I'll pop up a few shots that I got with the cannon on some. I'm gonna go ahead and pack up and head on back to the trip. Wrapping it up for the day. Came to another location while I was headed out to Hanson's Point. Ran into friend and fellow adventurer on a trail run, Al Edwards. He gave me a lead on some yellow lady slippers. Said that he thought there was over 50 in the patch. Well, I went and checked out that patch and uh, wound up finding 91 plants. Pretty sure they're the small flower lady slippers too. So really nice find. Appreciate the lead, Al. Uh, but anyway, hope you enjoyed today's adventure finding lady slippers and checking out Hanson's Point once again. I think uh, overall is over 400 lady slippers I counted. I'll pop up an exact count here in a minute. But hope you enjoyed today's adventure. If you would, be sure to give me that thumbs up. It helps out the channel. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. Hope to see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching.